this ain't hunting story but since I've been hunting I feel like it's one I can tell y'all and uh, it'll be okay <clears throat> a few years ago I owned a duplex up in Winfield and um, I had moved back to Walker County to teach school and I was still having to drive up there every couple weeks and cut grass and stuff like that during the summer and just check the place out well um anyway I was on my way through Jasper and it started raining and uh, those of you that are from Jasper know right where I'm talking about the Chevron that, that used to be the Amico um there was an older fella there it was raining pretty hard he had this big like military looking duffel bag on had a scraggly white beard and um he walked up and I said hey come here a minute he said yes sir I said brother don't serve me I said I, you know what you, what's going on with you he said well I'm trying my best to get to Tupelo Mississippi because my wife divorced me uh, a couple years ago while I was in that should have been my tip right there but I didn't listen she divorced me a couple years ago while I was in and uh she told me that if I would sign the papers that I could come get my dog and that dog's the only thing I got in the world. So I'm trying my best to get to Tupelo, Mississippi. I said, okay. I said, well, i tell you what I can do. I can take you as far as Winfield. You know where that is? Yeah, brother, I know where that's at. I said, all right. I said, well, come on, hop in the truck. So. Bird. I don't know why. I was still even going up there um, because <clears throat> it was raining. I had the mower on the back. I guess I just thought maybe it's not raining up there. So anyway, before we got going, I said, I got one, one stipulation. He said, what's that? I said, you're going to have to put that green bag of yours in the back of the truck. He said, well, why? I said, well, you got a long bag. Tell you the truth, I don't know what's in it. I said, if you want to show me what's in it, you know, then you can get in. He said, no, nah, I'm not going to show you what's in it. He said, I'm, I'll just put it over in the back. I said, okay. He said, it's going to get wet, you know. I said, yes, sir, I know. I said, but, you know, I got to watch out for myself. I understand. So he put the bag in the back of the truck and got in. And um, we got going down the road. Uh, you know, it just, it just hit me that, you know, I didn't know much about this guy. He told me his name. I told him mine. We was going down the road up I-22. And uh, he said, um, how long do you think it'll take to get there? I said, ah, about 30 minutes. He said, okay. So I just asked, I said, like, I said where'd you grow up at? And uh, he told me. And finally, I mean, we've been shooting the breeze for a while, you know, getting to know each other. And I said, man. I said, I got to know. I said, I was worried about you when you got in. I said, but the more we've had time to talk, the more I think you're okay. I said, what's in that bag? Well, the smile left his face. He looked down at the floorboard. He kind of started rocking back and forth a little bit. And he looked back up at me and he said, it ain't none of your business. But he said it mean. I said, okay. So I had my pew pew in the door and I put my hand down there on it. Cause I thought if this crazy joker, cause he was rocking hard, I mean, I kind of kind of act like he is losing it. I was like, if he decides to go crazy on me, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to take care of myself, you know. So we get on up there and it's just like ever. Every few minutes, every couple minutes, he's just he just looks down at the full board and he's rocking back and forth and he says, It ain't none of your business and his head's kinda shaking. I tried to ask him about other stuff, not a word. He wouldn't say a word. So we've got out up there at the gas station now that's got uh I, I think it's still a text code. It's got it had burgers and more in it. I'm not sure if it's still there or not. He jumped out and uh I said, I said, man, I hope you find everything you want. Get your dog back. As you're getting out of the door, he starts to slam the door, and he looks at me and says, it ain't none of your business. Slams the door. Well, me being who I am, I just gun it. I'm like, mm-mm. 
I ain't sticking around to find out what this dude pulls pulls out, you know. I left and uh, wasn't thinking anything about it. Next morning, I get up and I go out there to put some stuff in my truck and I look in the back and there's that dang bag. He didn't get it. I didn't give him time. It was my fault. I probably would be ashamed of myself. Anyway, y'all have a good one.